During ESMO 2020, Dr. Yungan Tao presented on behalf of the Gore-Tec the results of a randomized trial, which is the Gore-Tec 2015-01 Pembrorad study. This study is a randomized trial which compared in locally advanced head and neck squamous cell cancers not fit for receiving cisplatin high dose cisplatin, the standard of care cetuximab radiotherapy versus a new treatment, pembrolizumab, concomitant to radiotherapy. So this is the first time that pembrolizumab was tested in a combination with radiation therapy in this type of cancer. And this was following the promising results of pembrolizumab in first line and second line uh, recurrent and meta metastatic head and neck cancers. So what about the results? We had uh, 133 patients randomized with a median follow-up of 25 months. And regarding the safety, we had slightly more adverse event, grade three and more in the cetuximab arm compared to the pembrolizumab arm but mainly due to an excess of skin toxicity, which is a well-known toxicity with cetuximab. Now, regarding the primary endpoint, which was local regional control at 15 months, there was a 59% versus 60% local regional control in the cetuximab versus the pembrolizumab arm with no statistical uh, significant difference. Uh, regarding the other endpoints, secondary endpoints, like overall survival, progression-free survival, and the actuarial comparison of local regional control, there was also no difference between the two arms. So what about the conclusion? Despite a promising effect and a promising action of uh, pembrolizumab in recurrent and metastatic head and neck cancer, cancers, we failed here in locally advanced head and neck cancers to find a benefit of adding pembrolizumab to radiation therapy when compared to the well-established standard of care cetuximab radiotherapy.